Personally, I think that a spongy brake lever is probably one of the worst feeling during a ride. In this video, I will show you how to do the complete bleeding of the Shimano Saint, in the specific case, the rear brake. The first thing to do is to remove the braking pads. First, remove the retainer clip. Then, remove the screw with a 3mm hexagonal key. And finally, remove the pads. You can remove now the rear wheel. Now clean the pistons with a towel that I personally forgot and then push with a tight lever all the four pistons inside the caliper. Now take a blocker of medium size from your bleeding kit and lock it inside the caliper with the screw of the braking pads. On the handlebar, unscrew the bolt of the lever with a 4mm hexagonal key and move it in a way that is parallel to the ground. Very important, turn the reach knob clockwise so that the lever is the most far away possible from the handlebar. Now it's time to fill the syringe with our Shimano mineral oil. Pulling the oil one time, then pushing the air out, definitely more gently than me, and pulling again the oil. This will give you a nice syringe without any air inside. Now remove completely the plastic cap from the bleeding port, put the tube of the syringe inside the port and finally lock the tube pushing the plastic holder down. On the lever, open the free stroke about 3-4 turns. Then remove the bleeding bolt on the top with a 2.5mm hexagonal key, making sure that the bolt contains the o-ring. Now take the Shimano oil reservoir and lock it into the lever, without applying too much force. Now with a 7mm branch, open the bleed port. One full turn will be more than enough. Knock the tube of the syringe to move the air up more quickly. Then pull, yes pull and not push, the syringe in order to pull out any trapped air inside the caliper. At this point you can push the syringe, moving the oil from the caliper to the lever. Bubbles should come out first, and in my case they were followed by a very transparent and apparently not red oil, then with some black stripes. Close the reservoir on the lever, remove it and get rid of the old oil. Then replace the reservoir and fill it with new one. Now pull the syringe forcing the oil to move from the lever to the caliper. Then push it another time ensuring that no more bubbles are coming into the reservoir. You can close the bleed port on the caliper and make some testing on the lever that should already work properly. You can now put the plug in the reservoir and remove it. Now tighten the screw on the top of the lever and then the free stroke screw.
If you feel that the lever is still weak or spongy, you may have to redo the procedure. Adjust the reach of the lever as it was in the original position. Now remove the piston blocker, mount the rear tire and finally the braking pads, that if you want you can clean before the installation. Test the brake properly and do not forget to lean the lever in the original position. I hope you will find this tutorial useful. If yes, please leave a like and consider to subscribe to the channel for free. In the meantime, happy maintenance and see you next time.